The quality and quantity of the single track is really, really amazing. Uh, it's been a pretty unreal experience. It's a kind of a cosmopolitan mix of people who just love, the love to get out into nature. There are loads of great mountain bike races around the world to suit just about anyone. Many advertise themselves as the biggest or the toughest, but one says it's the ultimate single track adventure. And isn't that what most mountain bikers want? Sounds good to me. I had a taste of the BC bike race for a day back in July and it did not disappoint. British Columbia is home to some very well-known mountain bike trails, from the North Shore or up the road to Squamish, Whistler and Pemberton. But the BC bike race takes you into what really feels like wilderness and trails that not many mountain bikers get to experience. The BC bike race is like the first mountain bike thing I ever heard of. Like, you know, you hear about little trails and places, but I swear this race was like the first like, oh, there's a race where it's like seven days and it's super hard. And I probably heard about it 10 years ago. I mean, people always ask me where my favorite place to ride in the world. And I always say BC and uh, this reasons, this uh, race really showcases all the single track I love. BC Bike Race is a seven day mountain bike adventure that embodies the spirit of British Columbia mountain bike culture. It's my first time BC bike race. It's been a bucket list race for sure. And is it as good as you hoped? Uh, no, it's actually a lot better than I hoped. BC bike race. Uh, it's a legend, that's what it is, and it's a dream. If you're into mountain biking, you're into single track, and you like riding technical stuff, you've just got to come and do it once. I was in danger of being the last guy I knew that hadn't done it, so I had to double down and come out here and get it done. I'm not big on the, the XC stage race stuff, but I knew that it was going to be gnarly enough to keep me interested because I'm not an engine at all. Like my legs are okay, but my techie climb stuff is great. My descending is great, so this has been really great. Yes, Brian. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wish they had more trails like this in the World Cup for sure. Over the course of my career, I definitely got much more buffed out trails. I mean, there's features of the World Cups, but not as much kind of raw single track where I really excelled. And you don't see trails of the World Cup getting as, as muddy and slick these days. So, but it's kind of gone full circle. When I started, the races used to be kind of longer XCs, two and a half hours. So these stages are really similar to how I was when I started. I've done hundreds of races at the highest level. and like, I've never seen an organization like this. I mean, everything is running like a clock. seven days of stage racing. So normally you do an XC race and it's one day and you're done. But it's seven days in a row and a row, like over and over and over, all cumulatively put together for your time. And you camp out, you stay with a bunch of people, you get on ferries, you get on float planes and they take you all around, they have great food. It's kind of like this uh, single track summer camp. Trails world class, you can't get away from it. They put so much work in and the work's obvious and yet the trails still feel completely like they've just happened. They, they don't look like they've been manufactured or forced. So it's natural trail, but with that kind of trail center extensiveness. The average BC bike rider uh, is been shockingly, it's, it's absolutely, because we knew the pros would come, we knew the, the, the single track ninjas would come because they, they hanker for it, but the fill-in at the bottom where people heard about a good adventure, a good experience, 
For some people, this is their first mountain bike race ever. For some people, they've only been on their mountain bikes for a couple of years. They heard this was a great place to learn to mountain bike. So it's a surprisingly big variety. Density up here of people who understand the industry, who are hardcore mountain bikers, the trickle down is insane. But seeing the growth of mountain biking globally and families and uh, kids getting into it, it's uh, it's a kind of a cosmopolitan mix of people who just love the love to get out into nature. Oh, wow! Super lucky. Got to fly from yesterday's stage uh, end to this stage start in a float plane, which uh, just a total didn't know it was going to happen. Yeah, wow! Just super. What a great day to spend your time. Amazing. It's definitely a really physical race. The numbers are pretty sizable. A seven-day race, of course. Today was the biggest day, almost 60 kilometers, 1,600 meters of climbing. But one thing you'll really notice is the bikes aren't cross-country bikes. They're down country, whatever you want to call them. The pros are riding 120 forks, 100 mil in the rear, probably bigger tires, wider bars, shorter stems. 600 bikes here, you'll see all sorts of different bikes. I can see like an old clunker over there. A lot of bigger trail bikes actually, but a real mix. So that's the BC Bike Race. The tagline is the ultimate single track adventure. And just from my experience and speak to everyone here, that definitely rings true. If you want to see me put the Shimano XTR through its paces here, click over there for that one. Give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. All right, time for a lie down.